Let's go. Detroit Ballin', it's part of the culture. Sadiq Bay is to betray you on the poster. You know the facts, the robbery test, the roaster. Killer, get haze, deadly handles, I'll expose you. Cool composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round, first round. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Pistol Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button. 70% of you guys are not subscribed. I don't know what, know why it don't cost you anything. Not even a nickel or dime. Let's get into today's video. So, we might have a big three on the horizon. Look, Jeremy Grant has been more deferring to Kay Cunningham. Let him take clutch shots and everything. He's been playing more of his role. I like it. He's only taking over times we need to take over when we need a scoring punch. I know because I've been watching the game. So I'm happy to see that. But over the last five games, check this out. We, K. Cunningham, um, Sadiq Bay, I believe, is scoring almost 22 points a game. K. Cunningham, 21. And Jeremy Grant, 19.4. But check this out. Over the last five games, do you know what the Pistons' record has been with them scoring numbers for each player? We have went three and two over the last five games. So it looks like we're finally, they're starting to finally gel and play together, which is amazing. And of course, it's even great that Sadiq and uh, Jeremy Grant is playing well together because we thought since they kind of played the same, similar position that they couldn't thrive together, but they proven even me wrong. If Jeremy Grant is willing to take this back row and um, get paid anywhere from 20 to $25 million, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't mind him staying here. But if we do decide to flip him, it is what it is. I'm good either way. But... I'm just happy Sadiq Bay is thriving and found a way how to play with them. And he, I'm guessing Jeremy Grant knows his role. He has to defer to the young guys because we do have to develop them. And we're just playing beautiful basketball. The basketball is moving greatly. We're making great defensive plays, um, clutch, clutch shots for Cade. That's the thing is you got – Two players, you can pick and choose who you want to take clutch shots. Sadiq Bay's been hitting a lot of clutch shots. So has K. So you really got to pick your poison who you want to take that last shot because one of them has been proven that the numbers is that they are clutch. So that's, that's what I like to see. I'm glad that we're getting more wins and the games are more close and more competitive. I finally think we're gelling. And also to add to the mix, you gotta throw in um you gotta throw in the potential. What if Marvin Bagley is thrown into the lineup? What if he does play the five? Now you talking about a whole different ball game because in twenty minutes sometimes he can give you twenty points or like ten rebounds, you know what I'm saying? Which is a whole nother thing. So you could be talking about a big four. Just saying, you could. But that is all I have for you guys today. I probably got a lot more videos for y'all coming tomorrow. Probably about three, probably about four of them, maybe even five. But that's it. Hope you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell button. Do you guys think there will be the big three? Do you think it's helping us? Do you think we should keep the big three? Or do you think we should trade Jeremy Grant? Let me know in the comment section below, man. I'm out. Spare tick, Adam Sick, K Cunningham, Ash Johnson Duncan, man. I don't know about y'all, but we come to I'm a buzzer grant. They all jumping in. Pissy Mike, we take your flight. Click like and subscribe. We can keep you right. Yeah, it's Pissy Mike.